Hello, I'm Tom Colville, and I'd like to give you a preview of some of the works that I'm bringing to the Armory for the Art Show in November. I've chosen abstract works that have been influenced by the process of collage made in the 1930s and 40s, basically by two groups of artists working at that time. The first, the American Abstract Artists, founded in New York in 1937, and the second, the Transcendental Painting Group, founded in New Mexico in 1938. These abstract works were very much against the grain of the prevailing styles of the time, which were favoring social realism and regionalism. Also, the proponents of European abstraction, like Alfred Barr, regarded American abstraction as derivative of the European models and more or less discounted them. Today we are reevaluating these works. On my right is a work by George L.K. Morris, who was one of the founders of the group from 1940, and it's a collage using Victorian wallpaper from his house in Lenox, Massachusetts, in a otherwise cubist composition, which is sort of tongue-in-cheek and very uh, emblematic of the uh, sophisticated and formal approach of the New York group, as is this work by Charles Green Shaw from 1936, where he uh, takes the forms of New York skyscrapers and abstracts them to make these geometric compositions. We have a work from 1946 by Raymond Johnson, in which Johnson has uh, used tape on the raw canvas and pulled it away, sort of reverse collage, to suggest petroglyphs of Native American groups living in the region of New Mexico where he worked, and these are, can be read as perhaps Bowling Hills. So this group of artists, as I said, are more interested in this abstraction as a portal to the spiritual world. And when we look at a work by his co-founder, Neil Distrom, a encaustic from 1940, we see crescent moons and forms that evoke theosophy and again function as a portal to the spiritual world. In my booth, I will also have a work by John Farron, which is a plaster in which Farron has carved away the plaster and painted it. It's from 1937 which has a three-dimensional quality, which I believe evokes collage. And I'm bringing a wood construction by Louise Nevelson that uses found objects of wood to create a geometric composition. So I hope you'll come to see us at the Armory in November. Thank you.